Travis and I are fighting. <coughs> it's actually worse than after that one time we played Uno. It's actually gotten a, a bit more unsteadily competitive between the two of us. Um, to the brink of like manic, unbridled, toxic masculinity. And I never thought we'd get as competitive as we did over guess who of all things. Um, but we did. It was a it was a nasty, nasty game of 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 guess who. It was nasty. And I mean I mean cutthroat. I mean we went for the throat. We were we were we were visceral in the choices that we made. We were we were we were absolutely in we were in hysterics. We were in hysterics. In fact I don't think either of us is going to recover but thankfully we live together so we kind of have to get used to the competitivity and we got to get used to like meandering around the house around one another because we we've committed we're committed to one another we're committed we have committed so um a little bit of friendly competition not so friendly that's just how it's gonna have to be because that's just how it is i have found it in my heart to forgive him whether or not he forgives me is um up to him to be the bigger person i'm still waiting still waiting we shall see we shall deeply see i think it's gonna really take a lot of effort on his part to find it within himself to be a bigger man and step outside of the realm of of holding grudges like 12 year olds and forgive me for 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 winning for winning so triumphantly to the point of sheer He's in denial. He is so well and truly and deeply in denial. Shut up and sit down. Welcome back everybody to Sal's Internet Show in which we discuss the validity of ghosts, my amazing winning streak when it comes to the game of Guess Who, and pure, unadulterated sex. We haven't done that yet, but we will get to it. And the deep, dark depths and chemical activity of ectoplasm and its many benefits. Seriously, they should be looking into it for the freaking medical field because it is, it is immaculate. I mean, <laughs> medicinal value, lubricant. As you know, there's something we always do on the show, which involves beating up and abusing furniture. And <laughs> which we're gonna do this time around. All right, this time we're gonna do it to this goddamn fucking table because you know what? No, it doesn't deserve it, actually. I can't do it to you. You don't make a very satisfying noise. All right. Closet it is, okay? We believe in ghosts on the show. If you don't get the fuck out. <laughs> You're in luck, by the way. I just so happen to have some footage of me absolutely spectacularly beating Travis's ass in a game of Guess Who. So, pack it in and enjoy the footage. So, we're playing Guess Who? I play this a few times. You go first. Oh. This is war. Uh, we're back on the war game. It is war. Yeah, but it was war the last time we played a game too. Does your person have short hair? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Okay. Why are you putting something down? Okay, does your person look like they'd go to the bathroom, um, take a massive shit? and then not tell anyone and so the next person that walks in there is just like bamboozled out of their goddamn mind um no <clears throat> i don't think they would okay Not a hat. Not a hat. Does your person, if they were writing their dating profile, would they be cliche and write, I like long walks on the beach? Yeah, I could imagine this person saying that. Okay. Um, I hope. Oh, shit. No, we're wrong way. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is this person wearing glasses? Yeah. They are? Yeah, he is. Is your person Sophia, Liz, Emma, Rachel, or Katie? No. Damn. 
That's all I have up on my board. It's okay. I'll I'll keep asking. It's 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 not them. So why don't you ask a more specific question? Hair color, um, eye color. Okay. Um, their eyebrows look like they could just like come up to life and walk off of their face. Um, like, do their their eyebrows have personality and character? I don't really know what that means, but sure. Do they have character? They're making an expression. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Does your person look older or younger? He looks younger. It kind of looks like a Chad. Is it Ben? No. Oh. Well, that's all I have left, so I must have missed something. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play again, since I clearly was wrong. Oh, uh, is your person Nick? Mia. Yeah. Olivia? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark. Emma. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. oh yours is Al. play uno <laughs> again yeah, yeah. give me your board i'll just clean up thanks thanks sal yeah i think it's <laughs> you put it the other way so it, it's stuck on all the boxes they, they actually clip together the two, the two boards I'll keep you updated. If he does apologize, and he does say, I forgive you, Sal, and apologizes, because, you know, I've forgiven him, and I apologize. I said, I'm sorry for winning all the time, always, Travis. I'm sorry for winning every board game we ever play. I'm sorry for winning at puzzles, even though it's not a competition. I still somehow win. I'm sorry for beating you in Just Dance. I'm sorry for beating you in Wii Sports. I'm sorry for beating you in simple games of Catch-21, of Uno. I'm sorry for winning all the time. I'm sorry that I'm a winner. I think you need to get, this is a message for you. This is a message for Travis. I think you need to get to a spot in your life where you can find comfortability in losing. I think it's a serious thing you need to discuss with someone. Um, losing is, is, is a quality of life and some of us are just contractionally obligated to lose, always. It's just kind of how the universe like pans it out. My ears are open for whenever you want to be the bigger man and forgive me for winning and apologize for being a loser. Sal's out. Oh, and um, question of the day. What do you think I'm gonna beat Travis at next? Thank <laughs> you.